Hi, my name is Dr. Lux. Hi. And I'll be your doctor today. Very nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. So I see here that we have a 1 p.m. appointment. Is that correct? Yep. And you're here for a cranial nerve exam. Yes. All right. Very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Welcome to my practice. Thank you. May I please have your first name and date of birth? Uh, James Matthew, ASMR, Matthew with two T's. Got it, two T's. Uh, 6th of March, 94. Very nice meeting you, James. Nice meeting you. So I see that you came in for a uh, cranial nerve exam. Have you ever had those done in the past? No. No, no cranial nerves, okay. Anything concerning that brought you in today? Um, a little bit of insomnia, besides that. Insomnia. A bit of trouble sleeping. Not able to sort of turn off, but besides that, I'm okay. And when did these symptoms begin? Um, past four months, maybe. And how um, have they affected your daily life? Uh, obviously more tired, a little bit of trouble concentrating, um, trouble remembering things. Not too much, it's just harder to get up in the morning as well if I haven't slept. A bit more hungry, but not hugely. Are you taking any medication for this? No. Alright, let's um, briefly review your medical history. I see that I have your chart here from your previous doctor, but I want to make sure that I have all of the information up to date. Are you allergic to any medication, Matthew? No. Um, have you experienced any tingling sensations in your face, your arms, your body? Uh, no. Any headaches that come and don't go away? Yeah, sometimes in the evening, or usually in the morning if I've not had enough sleep. Do you take any um, over-the-counter medication for them? Uh, paracetamol, ibuprofen, that kind of thing. And does that uh, help you? Sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Very good. How about any history of elevated blood pressure? I don't think so. No. I'm not sure. Any major surgeries? No. no. Any flu-like symptoms in the last two weeks? No, not in the last two weeks, no. Any blurred vision or double vision? No. no. Alright, so I have your information up to date. I'll put on my gloves and we can begin the assessment. So I'm going to start by taking your vital signs. And what I usually like to do is a uh, mental acuity test as well. Okay. So can you um, tell me what day of the week today is? Uh, Friday, Thursday. Which I think one? Thursday. Very good. I don't usually know what day of the week it is though, so that's normal. <laughs> okay. Well, do you know where you are? Yes, Essex. And do you remember my name, Matthew? Dr. Works. Very good. Do you know the name of the Prime Minister of England? Well, until a week ago it was Boris, but we don't have him right now. Correct. Alright, Matthew. So what I'm going to do next is take your vital signs. And I'll start off by taking your temperature. This is going to go over your forehead and behind your ear. Okay. Just relax for me. 98.5, excellent, that means you do not have a fever. Okay. I'd also like to check your pulse and the levels of oxygenation in your blood. So may I please have your index finger? Oh, like this. And take a deep breath in for me. And relax. Sixty-four bits per minute and ninety-five percent 
oxygenation, which means that your heart is very relaxed um, and everything looks okay. okay. Right, next up, I'm going to listen to your heart and to your lungs. Okay. And I'll be looking for any murmurs, any abnormal sounds that come from your heart or your lungs. Yeah. Okay. Is it okay if I slide this in? Yeah, of course. All right. Just take a deep breath in for me and just relax. No murmurs, steady rhythm, no signs of pneumonia or infiltrate. I'm able to hear S1 and S2, not hearing S3 and S4. Very good. Alright, I'm going to listen to your lungs as well. Okay. Take a deep breath in for me. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. So I'm hearing clean, clear sounds coming from your lungs. No signs of any bronchitis or any abnormalities of the lungs. Can you cough for me? Excellent. Right, I'm also going to check your pulse manually. Can I please have your wrist? And just relax for me. Normal pulse. I'm also going to check it at your brachial artery. And I'll be looking for the character of the pulse. Very good. Not weak or thready, not hyperdynamic, normal pulse character. Also going to check it on your neck. Just relax. Excellent normal pulse. All right, next up I'm going to take your blood pressure. Okay. Have you had this done before, Matthew? Yes. All right, so you know what to expect then. Is this arm okay? That's fine. All right. We can slide this in. Right here. And you can place your arm right in between mine. Can you hold this for me, please? Cool. So a little bit of an elevated, elevated blood pressure. Anything to worry about? Or? Um, are you actually a smoker? Sometimes. Sometimes, probably that's why. Okay. I definitely recommend um, that you stop smoking. Yeah. All right. So next up, what I'm going to do, Matthew, is focus on your head and I'll palpate your head, your neck, your jawline and I'll be looking for any lumps or bumps or anything abnormal. Okay. You can just close your eyes and relax for me. I'll be checking for cranial symmetry as well. Head is symmetric. No lumps or bumps. Any pain in the back of your neck right here? No. The top of your spine. 
by pressing down on your mastoid bone and the pain right here. Taking your lymph nodes, finding potential lymph node enlargement. Can you clench your teeth for me? And unclench. Very good. And open your mouth slightly and close it. Very good. Clavicles are intact. No lymph node enlargement noted. Trachea is midline. Can you swallow for me, please? Thyroid gland is barely palpable, which is what we want. Very good. Excellent. All right, Matthew, next up I'm going to do a facial sensitivity test. Have you ever noticed anything? abnormal with your facial sensations? No. Okay. So just by looking at you in normal light conditions, I see that your uh, face is symmetric, it has the normal um, color, pupils are round, um, and they have the normal size and shape. All right, can you please close your eyes for me? And tell me, what is it that I'm touching you? My forehead? My left cheek? No. Excellent. May I please have your palm? We're going to do a test that's called sharp or dull. Okay. This is going to be sharp. Okay. And this is a dull sensation. Okay. So keep your eyes closed and tell me which one I'm tapping you with. Sure. You can lower your hand. Uh, sharp. Dull. Sharp. Excellent. Continue keeping your eyes closed. Can you tell me if you feel this equally on both sides of your forehead? Yes. V1 is clear. Equally on both sides of your cheeks? Yes. V2 is clear. Equally on both sides of your jawline? Yes. V2 is clear. Equally? Yes. Excellent. Can you tell me if you feel this in your ears? Yes. Very good. All right, next up I'm going to take some measurements of your face. Okay. So continue keeping your eyes closed and just relax. 's closed. I'm going to check the sensitivity to cold. Can you please tell me if you feel this? Yeah. How about this? Yeah. And this? Mm -hmm. Very good. Next up, I'm going to do a quick skin check. So okay. continue keeping your eyes closed and just relax for me.
some skin color, no blues or grays, no scarring, no signs of psoriasis. Skin is reactive to touch. Right, Matthew, so far so good. I'm not able to see anything abnormal with your head, your neck, your skin, or the cranial nerves that control the sensations of your skin. I'm gonna do an eye exam next. Okay. So can you please look at the tip of my nose right here? I'm gonna check your pupil response to light. Just look right here. Pupils are round and reactive to light. They dilate and contract in the normal rate. Continue looking right here and tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Okay. Two, five, one, one, two, one. Very good. Next up, I'd like you to mirror me. Okay. So continue looking in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Don't break eye contact. Touch your nose. Now touch my finger, back to your nose, look in my eyes, finger, nose, my finger, your nose, my finger, your nose, and my finger, <laughs> back to your nose, very good. Next up I'm going to check your eye mobility, can you look, keep your head steady and look at the light. Okay. And try not to move your neck and only use your eyes to follow the light. Okay. Any double vision right here? No. How about right here? No. No. Do you feel any pain? No. Alright, just continue following the light. I'm going to bring it progressively closer to you. Eyes are moving together, synchronized movements, no lagging or skipping. Excellent. Right, next up, I'm going to check you for color blindness. Okay. When is the last time that you've seen an optometrist? Um, end of last year. Have you been diagnosed with any conditions of the eye? No, I wear glasses. You wear glasses, okay. Do you have contacts on them? No, just normal glasses. Okay. Can you please tell me what color this is? Green. How about this one? Blue. And this one? Yellow. Very good. No color deficiency noted. I have here a series of cards. I'd like you to tell me this shape and the color that you see okay. on them. Um, orange and it's a diamond. Very good. How about this one? Pink heart. Very good. And this one? A purple triangle. Very good. A, a circular brown. Well, it's an oblong. But... Oblong. Very good. Uh, a green square. Uh, rectangular purple. Rectangular purple. And finally. Uh, it's a star and it's yellow. Very good. You have your colors and your shapes now. Alright, next up I'd like to check your vision as well. This okay. is called the Snellen chart. Okay. This is about an arm's length away. Can you please read to me this last line over here? With both arms? Yes, with both arms. Uh, L T F P H. Very good. Now, can you please obstruct one of your eyes? Any preference? Whichever one you want to start with. And read me this letter. Uh, e. Okay. And this line starting from the last letter. S B J H D. Very good. And now, can you please obstruct the other eye? And read me this line. Uh, e P T Z O. Very good. And can you do this one over here at the bottom? Uh, L T F P H. 
very good. And what color is this? Red. And how about this one? Green. Very good. So you have 2020 vision even without glasses. <laughs> without glasses. You may want to check with your optometrist <laughs> again, you may not need them. Thank you. All right, next up I'm going to look at your optic nerve. Okay. This is called an ophthalmoscope okay. and it's going to allow me to visualize your cornea, your optic nerve and determine if there are any abnormalities on the surface of your eye. Okay. Can you please look in the distance for me? So I'm going to come really close and shine my light into your eye. It's only going to be for a minute. I'm able to visualize your optic nerve, no cornea, scratches or tears. Can you please look up for me? And down, and left, and right. Very good. No abnormalities noted. I'm going to repeat the same test over on your other eye. All right, James, so I'm going to repeat the test over on your other eye. Can you please look in the distance for me? And just relax. I'm able to visualize your optic nerve, which looks intact. Can you please look up for me? Down, left, and right. Excellent abnormalities now. All right, James, I'm going to focus on your ears next. Okay. Um, do you have any tinnitus or any abnormal sounds that you've experienced in your ears? No. No, no ringing, nothing that's bothering you with them? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So I'm just going to... Uh, palpate them and look for any lumps or bumps, anything abnormal with them. Okay. You can just close your eyes and relax for me. Any pain when I press down on your mastoid bone process? No. no. Very good. Any pain when I pinch up on your ears? No. How about when I pull down? Mm -hmm. When I pinch back? Mm. Very good. All right, move your head to the side for me. I'm going to just take a look at your ear or a go with my light. Check for any skin lesions or discharges. Ear or a go looks perfectly normal. No external discharge, normal color, no lesions. Going to do a quick scope check while I'm here as well. Color of your scalp blends well with the color on your face and your neck. No psoriasis, ringworm, or folliculitis noted. No signs of any dandruff. All right. So I'm going to take a look inside your ear with my horoscope. Just relax for me. No ear wax noted. I'm able to visualize your eardrum. Not perforated, pearly gray color. Well defined margins and no signs of any infections. Very good. Can you please move your head over on this side? I'm going to repeat the same exam over on your left ear. Normal color, no external discharge. Any pain when I do this? No. Very good. Normal scalp, no signs of psoriasis or infection. No folliculitis, no more hair distribution, and no signs of alopecia. Hmm. All right, I'm going to take a look inside with my horoscope. I'm able to visualize your tympanic membrane, well-defined margins, pearly gray color, no signs of any inflammation or infection. Very good. All right, James. I'm going to focus on your nose and your mouth okay. next. Have you ever had any problems smelling anything, any mixing of smells or weird no. smells? No? no. You can keep your eyes closed. 
And I'm just going to feel on the outside of your nose, looking for any lumps or bumps, any pain when I do this? No. How about when I do this? Mm -hmm. The bridge of the nose is straight. No lumps or bumps noted. I'm going to just take a look inside. No obstruction noted. No signs of any infection or inflammation. Very good. I'm going to give you something to smell. Can you please identify this smell? Uh, coffee. Very good. Now, can you please obstruct one layer? And I'm going to give you something else to smell. Okay. Try to identify the smell. Uh, that's quite difficult. Right, let's try that again. Uh, cinnamon. Very good cinnamon. Now can you please abstract the other layer? And I'm going to give you something different to smell. Let's see if you can identify this one. Uh, orange. Very good. Alright, so no abnormalities noted whatsoever with your sense of hearing, your sense of smell. I'm going to focus on your mouth next. Okay. Have you ever noticed anything abnormal with your tastes? Mm. No. Alright. I'm going to give you something to taste. Okay. And I want you to try to identify this taste. And you can just stick out your tongue for me. Uh, no. Vanilla, very good. And I'm going to give you another taste, which is a little bit different around the spectrum. Let's see if you can identify this one. Chocolate. Chocolate, very good. So no abnormalities in the whatsoever. Alright James, just going to take a couple of notes of my observations. So normal facial sensations, normal hearing, Eyesight is 2020. All 12 of your cranial nerves check out. That completes the exam for today. Do you have any questions for me, James? Okay, thank you. All right, well, it was a pleasure doing this exam on you. Thank you so much for coming to my practice, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.